Well, it's the next day. Where are the carpet guys at? Where's the tack strip installers and the carpet pad installers? Uh, so much for working until midnight last night, right? Well, as it was, this morning, they called up Momi and said, Oh, one of the guys is sick. Little Billy uh, is sick, and we're not going to be able to make it today. And we're going to come out tomorrow. Well, had I known that yesterday, I wouldn't have had to stay here until midnight last night. I could have finished painting today. But, hey, things happen. You know what I mean? I'm glad I did stay because I'm going to have a nice easy day today. Ah, oh, this these uh, window stools came out nice and uh, I, I got all the stuff cut in, everything I needed to have done yesterday. I did pretty much. I mean, there's a there's a couple things. I'll, I'll probably go around and uh, do some touch up and do some checking out. See, see like right there, see that white bit right in there? And there's a little bit, you know, in, in different areas. It looks like uh, I could have cut in the wall a little bit better right in there. It's kind of hard to see everything with a construction light on and being dark outside and stuff. So now I'll be able to have a chance to kind of look at my handiwork that I did yesterday. And I can see right now there's a little bit of haze on the wall right there um, where I didn't put enough paint on. And I forgot, there was a couple things I forgot to do and I'll be able to do those today. No problem. I, I painted this door frame and I forgot to cut it in. See there? Look at that. I missed that. That was one thing that I missed yesterday and I was able to, uh, I got my mini roller out, painted all this, and um, I didn't get a chance to cut this in with the paintbrush all the way around the edges on everything. So I'll get my construction light out so I can see properly. And then remember I said on the tops of these I was gonna put semi-gloss instead of the eggshell finish. Everything here is eggshell. And I went ahead and put a first coat of eggshell on here. And after I get it all cut in and all that kind of stuff, then I'll come back after that's dry. And on just the tops, I'll do the extra effort and I'll put a semi-gloss paint on there. I'll cut it in nicely with my paintbrush and stuff. And the washer and dryer, I've got to set that in here. So um, this has all been taken care of. And I noticed there's there's one or two little spots where I could where I could have done a little bit better job cutting in. See right in there, you know, and that and that's that was semi gloss paint. So I have to remember to use semi gloss on there. Just just get a little paintbrush, touch that up, and then I can kind of I can kind of look at the walls and see if there's any other little minor touch up work. And I'm going to check around the sprinkler head with the light on and see if I need to cut that back in with the paintbrush. I did it one time already and maybe, maybe I need to do it another time. Now's my chance before I slide the, uh, the washer and dryer back into place. Because once I do that, that washer and dryer is in there to stay for a few months until we order uh, some new, a new stackable washer and dryer. This is a condo and there's not a whole lot of storage space, so why not? If we're going to replace the washer and dryer, why not get a stackable one? And they have some really nice stackable ones nowadays. Uh, we saw an LG system set up. It will fit rather nicely on the right-hand side. And um, that will give us this whole left-hand side of open space. Uh, we can put some shelves in there. And Momi might be able to put a drying rack of some sort there and maybe put some uh, some different little hangers up here to, to put um, clothes hangers or, or hooks for her to dry her workout gear and stuff like that like she likes. And so that'll give us a little bit of extra space right here, won't it? Um, we might even be able to put uh, a, a couple small little upper sh shelves for storage, you know, just up high that, that we, we can't reach or something. We'll see. 
uh, at least I'll have a little bit of an area to work for some storage, okay? And then uh, the other night, I saw there was a couple, a couple deep grooves in the floor. See, that one's, that one's pretty deep, and there's a couple over here. Now granted, um, the carpet pad should cover that, should be thick enough and stuff, but hey, I've got the extra time, I've got a little bit of uh, fix it all, and I can fix those. I, I ended up doing lots of patches on the floor where there were big huge gouges in the floor, and I did all kinds of stuff up here. There, were, there was a big huge gap right in here, about a 5 8 gap, the tongue and groove, um, subfloor uh, went off canny wampus and the tongue wasn't even fit into the groove in here I don't know what that was all about so whoever laid this out didn't do a very good job right in here and so I ended up uh, sticking some flashing in there the other day and uh, so you know today it's just a little bit of different things um, making sure I've got everything ready for them. They're gonna come in here tomorrow. And, um, wow, that, doesn't that look nice? I painted that uh, last night too. It came out looking sharp, man. Doesn't it look nice and clean now, now that, now that the walls have been cut in down to the top of the baseboard, cut in around the door frames, cut in around this. Everywhere you look, it, it just, the white um, door frames, pop and the door uh, the casings and the uh, uh, baseboards and all that just make the room look nice bright clean cheerful it it does something it makes the other colors pop and I like the fact that uh, we changed the ceiling color remember that other color that tan uh, color that was on the walls, they went ahead and painted the ceilings the same color. Well, we didn't want that. We wanted it white and it took two coats of paint on here to, uh, to cover that properly. And it just looks so clean and airy and crisp. Makes the rooms look a little bit bigger too. You know, even though this is a guest room, it's not, it's not that big of a room, but it just looks way different and and look how nice this area turned out you know nice and clean nice and airy and uh, I'm glad she uh, she changed her mind and we we picked a new uh, color for the walls this is called double click uh, we're not I'm not recommending it to you but if you like this color it's called double click and it's at the Home Depot the bare paint products and uh, it, it really turned out nice. She initially picked a different color and we put it on the wall in this room and it just was kind of too much. Hey, if you want to see all that and all the ramifications of all that, watch, watch my other episodes where I, I talk about that. And for that matter, um, you can watch all the episodes. Look at that, there's, there's one little place right there I can see that I didn't cut in very nice around the, the ceiling right there. See, right there. It's, it's like I almost forgot to cut in right there. Just that one little, there's just that one little section. And uh, you know, I'll have that paint out and I've got my, my uh, eight foot ladder out in the garage and I'll be able to quickly fix that too. So today is just um, touching up, finishing up certain things where I don't have to do that over carpet um, after they get this carpet installed. Okay, so tomorrow they're coming for that. And uh, then this floor, this floor, they did a really good job on this vinyl floor planking that they installed. And now that it's down, it rained, it rained last night. And I have, I was lucky enough to remember, hey, don't throw out all the carpet. I had cut the carpet small enough pieces to throw out into the small dumpster that was on site here, but I saved a few rolls of carpet here, I saved a few rolls of carpet pad, and I'm gonna take some carpet and I'm gonna uh, kind of set it out 
I'll, I'll take it upstairs and I'll cut it up there and I'm gonna make a couple floor mats and I'll, I'll make a floor mat to uh, uh, well not not to put there just to put by the front doors right here by the front door I'll put a floor mat and then uh, uh, right outside we'll stick a floor mat you know just just so people can wipe their feet off and because I've got the carpet here and I've got time to do that I'll go ahead and do that I don't mind okay so hey thanks for thanks for checking in with me and you know I might show you a couple of things along the way today we'll see but uh, it's gonna be a nice easy calm relaxing day I slept in this morning too and I feel actually pretty good and I'm gonna get all of the stuff kind of caught up I'll be able to uh, push the washer and dryer back in there take the craft paper up make sure the floor is all nice and pretty and clean uh, hook up the dryer vent set that back there into place and stick the washer washing machine back in there have it all ready so that tomorrow when the carpet guys come this won't be in their way as it was I left it out and if the carpet guys were going to be here today they could have been running tack strip and carpet pad in the different areas while I finished and got those two things pushed back in there then I was going to cut in this uh, door frame and do all that after the carpet was installed you know which is more a pain in the rear to do but now that they're not here I don't have to do that I don't have to worry so hey you know when um, when negatives come up there's always a positive attached to a negative yeah it would have been nice to see them come out today but as it is they're gonna come out tomorrow and that gives me a little bit of time to take care of some more stuff today so <laughs> I got my paint grubbies on I changed when I got here and it's time for me to get to work oh here's another thing I, I got to do and I might as well do it today uh, well, I'll show you this little uh, ceiling section I got to come down the stairs first see where the uh, they did a nice job whoever built this because they put the bull nose trim you know on their edges and stuff but because this wall is the uh, the gray color I've got to transition it into this ceiling from down here so how do you suppose I'm gonna do that well I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make a line and I'm gonna kind of eyeball uh, where the middle of this is I'm, I'm thinking I'm thinking here should I go to the center of the bull nose or should I go to the top edge of the bull nose maybe I want to go to the top edge of the bull nose that way when I'm when I'm down here when I'm down here I don't really see that blue line of the gray line you know what I mean yeah now now that I'm thinking about it uh, I should stop that up close up higher you know maybe right up in here and uh, I'll probably I'll probably put a couple pencil marks where I think it needs to go and then I'll take some masking tape put some masking tape along there and I'll do the same thing along this granted uh, I'm gonna and, and then I'll, I'll paint next to the masking tape but I know what's gonna happen some of the some of the paints gonna bleed through the masking tape but at least it it's gonna give me a, a good idea of where that line's supposed to be then I'm gonna have to cut it in a little bit better see all this the spray texture nodules on here and it's gonna be hard to get a perfectly straight line on that without some of that paint coming down through the masking tape and I don't think I want to freehand that line and I don't you know if I if somebody was here I could put a chalk line there but I don't really want to do that either because then the chalk gets all over and I don't want to paint over that so I just do the best I can with the masking tape and uh, and figure that out and then see yeah that's that's gonna be funky here cuz see how this is 
This is like a bull nose, but it's a different bull nose than that. So if I, if I keep this one up high, then that means I shouldn't, I shouldn't paint this ceiling down to there. I should make an imaginary line up here. You see what I mean? And then um, I'll have to get the white paint back out to, to uh, re redo that because I'll have to add some white up to, up to a new line that's lined up with that. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, another thing I've got to do today. Well, time to get busy.